Hello, and happy Valentine's Day from all of us here at Anime Territory. I'm your host this week, Johnny Ruhal. With me, as always, is my co-host, Benjamin Shampoo-Sniffing, Nape-Watching, Shabbing. And uh, joining us for this special episode uh, is our good friend and only person to have a successful romantic relationship in this room. Because I had one for a couple months in high school, but I want to call it successful. Uh, <laughs> our friend... Dylan Romy, how are you guys doing tonight? That was a weak clap you did. I'm sorry. They don't hear the clap, then. You know, I I, I know. I edit that out. I'm just saying, it was really weak. Oh, well, but the nicknames are pretty strong, though, so. <laughs> shampoo sniffing. <laughs> Benjamin shampoo sniffing, nape watching, shabbing. It's not the worst thing he's called. Like. <laughs> yeah, the worst thing I called you is a friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Damn, <laughs> that one stings. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! Valentine's Day is all about loving, not loathing, right? <laughs> I don't think I can do this episode with you, Ben. <laughs> Damn. But no, we're we're talking shojo today. Nothing better than a good old rom com shojo. <clears throat> but uh, this is the story behind this. Last year. We're looking to do something like this. And I don't think we actually did it. Or maybe we picked something else. But what did we do last time? I don't remember. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, but this was one of the ones thrown out. Blue Spring Ride. Is what yeah, we're I had today. suggested it. Yeah. Now, uh, I was all for that. But we didn't do it for whatever reason. Like, we probably just weren't in the mood. Or we ran out of time. Or like, we need to watch a movie instead. I think that's what happened. That, that happens a lot. Mm-hmm. Well, that's so we've been better about it. Yeah. But, um, but I don't know. We I was at a point in work where we had a lot of free time in between calls. That that doesn't exist anymore. But <laughs> I was like, it's a Friday. I know I'm gonna have free time because even when we're busy, I have free time on Friday. I could read a manga right now. Who do I know that can suggest a manga that knows? You know my my trash taste in rom coms, <laughs> so I texted Dylan. <laughs> what are some things I could I could read? And you said you did not give me the English name because I don't think you knew the English name. Uh, yeah, no, I had no idea what the English uh, name was. But you said Al How to Ride. I'm like, I think I've heard of that. Let's give that one a try. Um, you suggested some other things that I don't remember. I could look in the text history if yeah, I really want to. Uh, they're pretty all from the same author. Yeah, I mean, he writes really good stuff. Um, All of his rom coms and just romances in general are really good. But we're like, okay, let's let let's do this. I read it all. I'm like, oh, there's a there's a anime out. Maybe we can cover this on the pod because Ben's not gonna read the manga, but we can watch the anime. And Dylan suggested the manga, and I read the manga. We can kind of do a anime and manga episode, um, spoiling the manga for Ben because he, I'm assuming you still don't care. Still don't care. Yeah, okay. Uh, but we will have a clear distinction for when we get into spoilers for the anime and a clear distinction for when we get into manga spoilers. Um, that was about like four weeks ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Texted Dylan the idea. He's like, yep, I'm on board. Wait, there's an anime. Okay. <laughs> um, which that'll come up later. I've got something to talk about with that. Um, <laughs> then we watched like the first four episodes yeah. And then we got busy watching other things. We got busy watching other things, slash, we realized, why don't we just wait till Valentine's Day to get that, like, theme? Well, that's when we were going to have the episode, but, like, we could have watched the yeah, show and got yes. it in the can sooner, but... I think we shifted focus to the pre, like, whatever we did last episode. Yeah. Which was, I think, the spring, or the winter animes. So we're like, yeah. yeah, we, gotta we, get we were done. watching a lot of... Um, currently airing winter animes um we were also we have a goal to watch like 50 movies and none of them have been anime movies movies yet so far sorry 100 movies i have a goal to read 50 books yeah and we both have a goal to watch 100 movies i don't think any of those have been anime movies yet this year uh so we've been watching a lot of movies uh i really hope you invite me over for my favorite anime movie to watch that uh silent voice or yeah. Summer oh, Wars? Summer Wars, yeah. Okay, Summer Wars is your favorite? Okay. We already, when do we... we already did it. Yeah, we've covered that on the pod. Well, <laughs> oh, you but... covered it on the pod. Yeah, I know you've done it on the podcast. I'm it talking says... about when you watch it this year for your... It says we're going to watch it this year. 
the, the the goal of it we can have rewatches on it but the goal of it was to sort of watch either watch movies we haven't seen in a long time or brand new movies like brand new to us movies mm-hmm. so we've been watching a lot of old movies but they were new to us i you've had maybe if you had one rewatch or no rewatches yet i don't think i've had any rewatches yet i've had maybe two rewatches unless you count the ending of stardust yeah, because you've seen that ending. I don't know how many times. Like three it was times. just on TV. I think it's just on TV. So I'm just like, well, whatever. The thing I, the thing. Mark Strong next, is sword fighting. Okay. <laughs> the thing on next, I want to watch. So like, I'll just finish this and then start. Yeah. So. Yeah. Stardust is good. Oh, I lied. I wa- I did watch Indiana Jones. Oh, oh, you have seen that before. I did see that before. But I thought you it, hadn't seen it. It was before. a while. I haven't seen the other ones. Oh, it's the other. I've ones. only seen Raiders. Let's see. So, so I've seen Time Bandits and Stardust. Everything else, I think, is all new to me. Cool. Yeah, everything else is new. I mean, I can list the movies, but it's not really anime related. Yeah, no, I was uh, just, I was just. Reading oh, I, it. I, sorry, Indiana Jones. We just watched. I've watched that before. Um. Mm. So I, where I'm at sixteen, you're at what? Thirteen. I think. Thirteen at this point. Yeah, I think you. Because I think I beat you by two in January, and then I watched Groundhog Day while you were working. Yeah. So, um, anyway, that's enough unrelated things. Let's talk some Blue Spring Ride here. Uh, I've got a few spoiler-free notes here. Um, one is, "Damn girl, your eyes so big. <laughs> These girls got big eyes. She got big eyes. She got big eyes." Um, I've also got. I like to think that there are other animes happening in the other classes. It's like, we only ever see, like, the one class. So I just like to think that, like, oh, well, this is the same school that some other rom-com is just happening in the background that we don't, like, or we like, don't notice. No, it's like one of those supernatural ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, this is, this isn't the same. They, they go to North High. This is in Haruhi's universe, right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> but, but Hari doesn't give a shit about them, so they get to lie, live their lives normally. Just imagine school days happening at the same time. Ugh. Or just say, yeah, it's a supernatural thing. Or like, was it Baka and Baka. Tess? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Baka and Tess, they interact with the other yeah, classes in that. It's so. just something like that, though. <laughs> it's just like... It's like they, they must have, like... Or well, you talked about when we were watching uh, one of the currently airing shows, you're just like, you think they, they have to sign a... They have, to, they have to sign out the roof so that they can have it all oh, yeah. alone by themselves. Because <laughs> like, there's nobody ever up there. But in this show, there were people up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like, yeah, yeah. Just uh, like, anytime they uh, like sorry, Toradora's the got the like, roof today. Always by their yeah. self. It's just like, <laughs> nobody else goes up there? I feel it like seems, that'd be a popular spot. It, it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I think those <laughs> yeah. are my only spoiler-free notes. But when we get to it's spoiler for the this podcast, we're gonna bring back a segment where we just ask Dylan a bunch of questions. Some of them relevant, some of them not. Uh, God. <laughs> so uh, I've got some notes about that, uh, but we will uh, worry about that when it's time for that. That'll be at the end of the show, um, towards the end, I should say. But what's what? What are, what are your thoughts? Spoiler free thoughts, Ben. It's good. Nothing special. It's a solid rom com. Um, it gets kind of slow slash kind of boring in the middle, but there's some good tender moments in between that makes it good. Also, I don't know how, but I felt like this was going to be a different show than originally thought, because for some reason, how I read the synopsis was like this girl had this crush on this guy in middle school, and then he moved away. And now this new guy who looks exactly like him with the same name shows up. But it's not the same guy. But she's like, but you look just like him. So I thought it would be something like that. But it's it's not. It's the same guy. He just has a different, different last, last name. But yeah. I, I thought there would be like a little bit more mystery to it. <laughs> but it's like, no. Nope, nope she's just stupid. Yeah, just like me. Because I thought I read the synopsis differently. But anyways. Yeah, okay. it's good. Okay. Uh, Dylan, I want your spoiler-free thoughts for right now, just the anime only. Anime only. Oh, yeah. boy. Um, the art in this anime is actually really good. I like all of the animation and everything that actually goes along with the show. Um, obviously, I like the anime. I think the manga is better. 
Well, the manga is complete. Exactly. <laughs> this is um, like... <sighs> I don't even remember where the anime ends, to be honest. Cause we we both can get the, into it. Both of them blend in my head so frequently, it's all like... Mm, I don't remember which one ends where... But no, I, w- I wouldn't say it's my favorite romance. Well, it's, but what, it's my definitely Little Monsters up there. Still your favorite? My Little Monster is probably my favorite romance. Does that, that have or a Maid Sama? If it does, I've not read it. Okay. I've actually never. Might be, there might for be it. light novels for that one. Yeah, because that one's not very complete either. <laughs> but like, um, Maid Sama's up there too. That's one of my favorite romances of all time too. I like that a lot. See, I've seen... You made some of one of the mangas you suggested. And I'm like, I've seen the anime. I don't have that much interest in reading the it's, manga. It's a lot better. Because if, if, uh, if a rom-com manga or anime gets me, I'll read the manga. I did it for Boku Ben. I did it for Nagatoro. I did it for something else. Uh, I've already forgot. Um, I also access, uh, suggested I've, Horiyama, but... Hori Mia. I've Hori seen the anime Mia. for that. Yeah. Um, I did it for um, The World God Only Knows. I did that a long time ago. So like, this, I did that for a while for Mysterious Girlfriend X, but it was currently airing and it only come out like every month, so I really dropped off on that. There's probably a bunch, because that was like high school that, <laughs> that I was doing that. Uh, I did it for claymore but it's same thing it's just it was hard to oh i think i actually read the claymore manga before i watched the show but anyway uh that's uh that's talking about other animes in our spoiler free section for blue spring ride now i want to know what your spoiler free thoughts are on the manga which you sort of already given yeah man on as far as romance goes it's in my top 10 i'll I mean, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's very good. It keeps your attention the whole time. It's a quick read, too. It's only yeah, I read 40 it like chapters. I, I think it's the first time I read it. I read it in three days, maybe less. Um, but it, it, it's just an easy-to-pick-up manga, and it reads quick, and it, it, it's good. It has a good ending, too. But. All right. Which... I'll say that's you're going slightly into spoilers here. I think my biggest gripe with the anime is just like it it does a good job of adapting the manga, but to the point where it's just like, okay, but we're like a third of the way through the story. Yeah. <laughs> There's no like like really good like romantic resolution because that doesn't come until the end of the story. So you just, I think the anime i mean yeah even its episodes are listed as you know chapter one like if you look up the yeah, anime, page like chapter, one page, page two. one yeah whatever yeah so i mean i think the anime's originally goal was to be each chapter of the manga into an episode which I, that's a that's a little much I and mean, i don't think it needs that much animation time i mean that you can't fit that little of content in that many episodes but well, you know, it might have sped up some too, but um, we also we should note we did not watch the OVA because we didn't know it existed until uh, what five minutes before we hit record. Yeah, about that. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen the OVA too at one point in my life. That would have been back in 2014, so okay. that's a long time ago. So let's let's skip ahead for a bit and come back. Let's go to questions for Dylan. <clears throat> so you didn't know. That this anime existed was what I gathered originally. Yeah. But now you're saying you might have watched it back in 2014. Yeah. Would you have used my Crunchyroll at that time? Probably. Okay. Because That's it, what that was about. Possibly. It's, it's possible. <laughs> so here's the thing. Uh, I've got a note. It's on here three times. I don't know why it was on there the second time. I know it's why it's on there on the third time. I wanted to move it down to my questions for Dylan. Um, but when you were like, I've never watched this show, Shabs and I went to Crunchyroll to start watching the show, and it's like, oh, this has already been watched. Somebody has watched this. Each episode says watched. Was it me? Was I don't it Shabs? Think it was us. Yeah, I no, don't, there's a few other people with my Crunchyroll password, but. 
But Dylan said that Dylan would be the one most likely to have watched this, and he said he hasn't seen it yet. But it's all watched right here. Who watched this show? Yeah, it was probably me. I just probably don't remember <laughs> having a show. Okay. But back in 2014, I've had Crunchyroll since since before then, so that that would make sense. It, 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 it I think it remembers it that far back. It just might not pop up that it's still on your to watch list. But that is a. Uh, that solves that mystery. <laughs> Who watched the show? Uh, we'll come back to our, our the rest of our questions later. So, okay. Let's go into anime synopsis. What all happens? Ben, this is your job. I'll take over if I feel like you're missing stuff. Like all always. Right. So we have main character, Futaba. Um, I don't know exactly where we start, but basically in middle school, she has this crush on this guy named Ko. Right? It's Ko? Yeah, Ko Tanaka. Mm -hmm. um, she like professes professes her love to him. And it's no, kind of, no, 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 not at all. Oh yeah, she, she blushes. She's very like she doesn't like boys. She feels he's sort of an exception. It's like she's very yeah. nervous around boys. She feels he's sort of an exception because he's very like soft spoken and feminine. Yeah. Um, but, like, somebody was, like, talking to her or hitting on her or something, and she, like, blurts out really, uh, like, this is why I hate all boys. Yeah, and he, and he her, hears that. Yeah. And then they had, like, made plans to, like, go to a festival together. Yeah. So, like, she shows up for this festival, and he doesn't show up. And she doesn't thinks show it's because what she said. Yeah. Uh, but then, it really, we learn... Festival oh, he moves. Yeah, he moves. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, so she knew him for, like, one semester till summer vacation mm -hmm. but they like both liked each other yeah it was mm -hmm. mutual mm -hmm. um they had this they had a couple of scenarios i had a note at one point that i had to scratch out because I, I wrote down the manga has a little more of them in middle school but then like the next couple episodes are like oh they're flashing back and we're seeing yeah. the cops and robber game we're seeing the the rain scene in mm -hmm. middle school and yeah. i like I'm like oh okay maybe i just don't remember when they said it because i just like they really Really brushed over that middle school stuff. There's a lot of stuff there. Yeah, no, in the manga, there's a lot more middle school stuff than there was in the show. I mean, I the, the show flashes back to it, but the manga just outright takes care of it. But yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that happens, and then we cut back or whatever, and we're in high school now. Um, she has friends, but she kind of keep she she keeps herself disheveled, like she doesn't. Tries to keep herself as unattractive as possible because she, in middle school, she got the reputation of being, like, guys liking her, so no, none of the girls liked yeah, her. Yeah, all, all the girls kind of isolated her because they were, were mad like, about how many guys were yeah. into her sort of thing. So she basically created a new persona in high school, so now she's, like, disheveled. And just yeah, so, so bitches, yeah. bitches don't feel threatened by her. Mm. Um, Speaking of bitches... She has two friends, and they're bitches. Bitches. I feel like they mellow out in the manga at some point. They're just yeah. like, oh, yeah, we're not, like, friends, but... You're not as shitty as you were. Yeah. Uh, but, like, during... Now in high school, she meets up with Ko again. He's moved back, or whatever. He's in the school now. He's got a new name. Mabuchi. Ko Mabuchi. Mabuchi. Yep. My Bucci. My... No, sorry. Uh... <laughs> so at first she's like wondering, is that the same guy? And whatever. He's got a different name. Mm -hmm. But then it is. Because yeah. he lures her back to the spot where they were hiding out in the rain mm -hmm. scene. And she's like, ah, it's him. Yeah. He says like the exact same. The exact yeah. same, yeah. Phrase or whatnot. Um, I also had another note I, that I crossed out. I just want to bring this up here. Because I also wrote down pretty early. Like, they haven't mentioned the nape of his neck yet. And then they started mentioning the nape of his neck again. So I'm like, okay, I gotta cross that one out. They mentioned that nape a lot <laughs> in the manga. Yeah, a lot. I don't think it comes up till later, does it? It, it, it I, I crossed it out much later than I crossed out the other nape. Yeah, it's whenever, so, it's whenever they do the flashback. Because I don't know about the robbers. neck. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, anyways, it's the same co, but he's like... I'm I'm different now. I'm a different person. Let's yeah, he's just, like, meaner. There's he's... no feelings anymore. Yeah, yeah, they're both like, oh yeah, I it's definitely a, had things for you, but that's that's not. Uh... You think of what I'm thinking? Fresh start. 
<laughs> she calls the Febreze brothers. It's so fresh in here. Uh, but no, that's like a continuous thing with her. Is she's just like, well, if I fucked up and just start anew, like, you know, it's not, I can move forward with my life. Each day is a new day. Mm-hmm. Um, that actually, that, that comes to a head at points where he's just like, well, it's good that you can do that. I can't do that. Like, I can't get a fresh start. Spoiler alert for like several episodes later. My mom is fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. I've got her last name. My parents are divorced. I took her last name, and then she fucking died. And most of the family couldn't be there with her because they live far away. So, like, I had to take care of her, and it yeah. fucked me up. Yeah. I'm dealing with trying to both, you know, make her proud of me, but now also just not caring because there's no point she's dead. Mm-hmm. Um, but that that's later. Yeah. I, do we learn that sooner? I don't think so. I don't think so. What? That his mom is dead. Do we learn so, that I don't sooner think we learn than the characters until... do? Uh, you learn it in the show whenever they uh, go to Ko's okay. house to, to study. study. Okay. Which so, is like episode 10. It's yeah. late. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, so, you'll learn a lot quicker in the manga than you do the show then. Okay. Well, and also, I watching the show, I'm like, well, I know his mom is dead. And I didn't. And we'd watched the first four episodes so long ago, so I'm like, did they mention that in the first four episodes? I know she doesn't find out until episode ten, but did they mention it? And it's like, well, I guess I don't. So, but yeah. Anyways, so like, Co calls her out on like her behavior or like her yeah, because she's, she's she's putting fake. on mm-hmm. she's yeah. I mean, part of it like. She's not someone to, like, wear makeup or try to get boys' attention or anything. But she's, like, she's intentionally disheveled. She's intentionally, like, got a messy bag. She's intentionally, like, eats a bunch. Mm -hmm. And he's just, like... And and he calls her out for, like, for her fake friends. It's just, like, you don't have a real connection with them. You know, like, they're not... They're not your friends. It's Mm -hmm. not... They're not even good people. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, kind of this is happening. We meet Yuri who is a classmate, and she's kind of has the same dilemma that Futaba had in middle school. Yeah. She acts very cute around the boys. Because she's and the small bitches, and she's cute. Mm-hmm. The, the bitches are, are mad at her, so they don't hang out with her. Yeah. But Futaba decides to, I guess, make friends with her. She comes to, like, her defense. Yeah. Like, her friends are bad-mouthing Yuri, so she's like, no, this this is dumb. You're just jealous or whatever. Yeah. And then she gets ostracized. But she makes a friend with Yuri. Mm-hmm. And uh, her friends are also just like assume when they think she, when the one of the lunch ladies thinks she might have stolen the food because she doesn't have it in a bag yeah. that her friends are just like, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't steal the food. And it's Ko who has to somebody like, Ask that lady right there. She just handed it to her and said they were out of bags. And she said she wouldn't need a bag. If that happened to me, I'd get arrested all the goddamn time because I never ask for bags because we've got way too many fucking bags in this house. We have two trash cans that we can use those bags as trash bags for. And one of them I think I've emptied once since living here. The one in the utility room. There's one in the... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Where we put yeah, all the lint trap mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, takes a while for that one to fill up. Yeah. Anyways, um, while this is happening, well, whatever. Anyways, we learn that the teacher, Mr. Tanaka, is Ko's brother. Yeah. Fancy that. They look pretty They're fucking exactly similar. The same. I'm pretty sure I'm like... One of them maybe a little Ko? taller. Oh, no? And he's okay. got a beauty mark. Yeah. He's got the beauty mark. He's got two of them. Spoiler. Oh, yes. That, I don't think, is in the show. It's not in the show, I don't think. not in the show. He's two of them? He's yeah. got one on his eyelid. Oh, I thought it was going to be his ass. No. Well, who knows? We don't get to see his ass. Damn. It's on his eyelid. You find out when you find out he's a pedophile. Okay. Well, we'll get into I've that. I've got things to talk about with that. Oh, we'll get into it. <laughs> Anyways. Before that happens. Before. Uh, Spoiler. We kind of skip to, like, year two. They're just finishing up year one. 
Yeah, yeah. There's year a big starts. They kind of rush through year one. Yeah. So year two is when the bulk of the story takes yeah, place. Because year one, Ko's in all the advanced classes because he's supposed to be some sort of super genius. And then he's like, well, I don't care about the school or anybody. So you <laughs> Yeah, he stopped paying attention in class and stopped studying. And yeah, he's great suffer to get you kicked down to regular classes. But yeah, they start year two and all of our main characters are in the same class now. Except for the bitches. Except for the bitches. I said main characters. Yeah, I know. But like they were like, they were prominent characters up until that point. Mm-hmm. I got you. Nah, I that happens, that and then Futaba uh, volunteers to be the class rep, or whatever it is. Yeah. Ko also agrees, and then the other main characters become the class event coordinators. Cord- yeah, event. Uh... The shy girl and the hyperactive dude. Yeah. Hyperactive dude. Their names. Uh, uh, so it's hot for teacher. <laughs> yeah. One of them is in love with Ko's brother. Uh, the other one it loves... Her name is... I wrote it. Uh, it's Mura... M-U-R-A-O. Morale. Shuko. Shuko Morale is how I pronounce that. And then I'm the other Shuko, one... That's easier to pronounce. Um, and then the dude friend is Kikuchi... Kominato. 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 Mm-hmm. What do you have written down? Oh, Kikuchi Tomo. I think that's right. I think Tomo is right. It's coming out of a nickname? That sounds right in my head. You must have got the wrong person. But it looked like that guy. Oh, you might be right. It might be Kominato. Who's that guy? Are you looking at Crotch Boy? Oh, is that Crotch Boy? Yeah, that might be Crotch Boy. My bad. Yeah, he's a character in the manga. Okay. That's a note I have. He becomes a character. Um, There's a lot of dead air right now, so Sorry, let's keep uh, moving. I'm just making sure... Uh... Okay, yeah, that's right. It's Kominata. Kominato. And Yuri. She's the other one. So Yuri... Morale, Kuminato are on the events team or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, they all have to go to a like a leadership training thing, mm-hmm. and they. This is where we learn. This is where Morale, you know, tries to hit on the teacher, and Yuri sees it and doesn't tell anybody. You know, so like she kind of gains her trust at that point that she didn't reveal that. She didn't betray her. Um, they also get lost doing an orienteering course because they were able to just like figure out where all of the um, stations were. And then when they got to the last station and they had the clue, they're like, okay, we need to get to this lake. Uh, but I don't actually know where we're at on this map because we didn't do the actual orienteering to get here. We just kind of lucked our way into it. They yeah, just basically follow the groups, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they did. And then... Uh, they get lost in the woods. Yeah. And then Before eventually... that happened, somebody oh, yeah. touched bare skin. I don't know what happened. That's just one of the notes I have. <laughs> they touched bare skin. Um, what is it? They got on the wrong train, so they were late for training. Yes. Uh, Ko and uh, Futaba mm-hmm. are late. Um, they also, like, they, like, f- lay their heads down on the same table. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like, Ko turns his head and they're facing each other and it's awkward and she was smelling his hair and looking at the nape of his neck <laughs> that first night. Again, she's really into that guy's neck. Yeah. She's yeah. got a thing for necks. Is, yeah. He does have a pretty neck though. Oh, yeah. I guess. Nice neck. Real necksy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what he called it, necks. God. <laughs> we had to bring that into the podcast? Okay. That was one of my notes. <laughs> Um, I would like to note at this point that the teacher, what's the older brother's name? Uh, Tanaka. Tanaka. Yeah. yeah, Tanaka Sensei is like, you can't do this. Go make friends. He's not being a pedophile. Mm-hmm. There are some things he says, but I will. We will talk about that. He does nothing until like the end of the show. Yes. To, like, imply anything. But 
there's oh well, we'll just talk about it now while we're while we're on this subject. He does not imply anything to morale. Mm-hmm. He implies something to Kominato, and I think there's a very deliberate reason as to why he does that. I think he's trying to In spur. Show. Okay. I think he's trying to spur Kominato on to be like, "Hey, you might be good for her, but you know, I might need you to like put the fire under you to do something." So I'm I'm going to imply something to you. I don't think he has any intention of following up on it. Okay. I think I think it's to make Kominato try harder because gotcha. he can work against him. Okay. You know, he can he can be the heel. Mm-hmm. But but he did invite an underage student into his apartment. So Ooh, while was he was drinking, I don't. I sort he, of he remember. He dropped that. his wallet at the whatever festival. Morano found it, brought it back to his apartment. He'd is already it, been drinking. Is this... He walks her home. She kisses him. Yeah. Um. That's when he sees yeah, the yeah, mark yeah. on his eyelid. It was that episode. Or chapter. chapter. Sorry. Whatever. Um, I'm just trying to remember, was that a flashback to when she first got feelings for him? Or was that something she did later? Because she kisses him at one point, and I feel like that's in high school. You know, it was in high school. Yeah. I was trying to think what what endeared him to her at first. Have you seen him? He's hot. I mean, pretty hot. Uh, um, it was... Um, whenever he gave her help for the uh, what do you want to do later in life survey paper thing. Okay. So that's when she first found out that she had feelings for him. Gotcha, gotcha. He was very supportive and, you know, yeah. brand new young first year teacher. It's hot. <laughs> but I also feel like he has a sort of like friendship or he, he wants it to be a friendship. I don't, I'm not saying what he did was right. He shouldn't do that. There's a very deliberate reason why when I was in a D and D campaign at a public um, store, that when we moved away from being at that public store, I did not offer my house to play D and D in, even though it was pretty close to the store, because there were teenagers <laughs> yeah. in that campaign. So we met at public parks, public places, because not that I would do anything. I just don't want to be like, yeah, these teenagers I barely know are in my house. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am a grown man. I have no familiar collect- connection. To these teenagers. <laughs> these yeah. underage people. So I will... Don't want to exclude them. It's not my campaign. But I feel more comfortable in a public space. <laughs> gotcha. Anyways. We do the scavenger hunt. Drives across the deadly river. Futaba hurts her ankle. Uh, ankle when she slips. So she gets a piggyback ride. Okay. Yeah, she does. But you forget to mention that Yuri's too scared to cross the river. Yep. So, so Ko has her. to help her. Yes. Which is a turning point because then Yuri starts to develop a crush on Ko. Mm-hmm. Which uh, Futaba like, feels guilty about. And it's like, well, I like the same boy as her. Like, she was all gung ho to be like, okay. But they had to watch I liked, the I like Ko together. in middle school. Ko is a different person now. I decided I also like Ko. Now. Now. And then Yuri is like, ah, I think I fell for him. And she's like, ah, oh, shit. Mm, I'm going to try to hide my feelings. And I'm going to make this ultimatum that if he doesn't do this decision to get off this train, that I will give up on him. But then he, like, right before the, the last second, she's like, I hope he gets off. And she's like, I betrayed my own ultimatum. I mean, he also got off at that point. But... All right, Ben. <laughs> uh, got off the train at that point. Um, so she's like, sense. okay, now I got to tell her. I got to be honest with her. And she waits several days. Cause it's awkward as hell. This is where I kind of lose interest in the show. Because she spends a whole episode be like, oh, I should tell her. But I can't. But I should tell her. But I can't. Yeah. She's like, do it. Just do it. But you forgot. Don't uh, let your dreams be memes. Before all that happens, they watch the sunset together. 
Yeah. She realized Ko is nice and likes pussy. I mean cats. <laughs> yeah. Kitties. Quite literally. Very straight cat. Also, the friend whose name now is Kominato brought porn to the workshop. I I think that might be more of a translation of like it was probably like it's like Dirty Mac or like like the Sears catalog or something. You know It'd be like a, a swimsuit model magazine. Yeah. You know? Swimsuit model magazine or, like the swimsuit or possibly edition. like a like an Arogi uh, yeah. manga or something. So, something that might have brief to suggest suggestive to brief nudity but not like that that was the vibe i got very like from, erotic stuff but not necessarily like straight up yeah. porn you know but still stuff that school would not want you to have that's that's mm-hmm. sort of the typical thing yeah. that anime characters have yeah. for porn now actual uh, high school students or japanese high school students might have real porn too yeah, i don't know uh I mean, probably or at least like a or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Anyway. The the subtitles use the word porn. Mm-hmm. On Crunchyroll. Um, Futaba and Co. have to write a report. Well, at, like after school. Yeah. It's more than just like filling out like a worksheet. Mm-hmm. No, it was an apology paper for being so late and being uh, terrible leaders. I think that's oh. before. I think that's something separate. Either way, she's spacing out because she's like, God, I like him. God, yeah. he's hot. Oh, are you talking about what what they learn, what this workshop shop? They no, that that's, that's during the thing. They, they fill out a couple forms. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of them. But this is when they're back from the workshop and they're at school and she's freaking out about uh, liking him and feeling guilty. Mm-hmm. But I just said, fuck Yuri, go for it. She didn't call dibs. <laughs> Um, also, Ko is Nexi. <laughs> Ko gets off the train. <laughs> Alright, now we're back. We, okay. Uh, we got off the train. Yeah. I don't remember what happens next. <laughs> I go out of order, oh, you know me. Uh, they do an indirect kiss. D- just, not really. Well, they drink out of the same water bottle. Yeah, but he doesn't actually touch the water bottle with his mouth. Oh, he yes. pours the water. He avoids well, she's it. She's like making... Oh my god, is, is he about to do it? And the d- d- direct, direct kiss? I'm just like, come on. It's just a water bottle. What the hell are you worried about? Germs. Yeah. He's going to get my but germs. I also think the manga and anime are different there, because I'm pretty sure in the manga, he, he just takes a drink out of it. He doesn't do the whole, or not touching it or anything. I'm pretty oh, sure. Okay. In, I don't, I'm I don't almost know. certain the manga, he just takes a drink out of it. Well, this one, he just, like, tries to chug it all, and he just, like, chokes on it. Like, what are you doing? You're going too fast there, bro. He's going to do that. This uh, is a bit. Uh, anyways, that happens. Uh, Futaba's like, dang it. I love him. It's official. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm done. I'm done. I love him. Uh, Yumi, a former friend, shows up. Um, Yumi was a friend from middle friend school. Middle she was, like, school. the only person who, like, Stood up for her, but then she. Then there's a rumor that she liked the guy. liked the boy that she liked, and then when she, she stopped hanging out with her. But she didn't even. She just liked Ko. Yeah, she liked Ko, but she like she saw him like looking at him wistfully or regretfully, and assumed the rumor was true mm-hmm. at that point. But she was just thinking like, should I go ask him about Ko? <laughs> yeah, and decided not to. But. Um... So this is all while she's like trying to be like, I need to tell um, Yuri. But then I just heard this story about, you know, how like think somebody thinking that I like the same guy ruined our friendship. But she ultimately decides that no, Yuri is a true friend. I got to tell her. Mm-hmm. Um, they tell her. And then morale is there too. And morale is like, Oh, yeah, I like Tanaka Sensei. And then Yuri cries in the bathroom a bit, but keeps on a strong face. Um, can we go do. Can we jump to our Dylan's questions? You got a Dylan's question right now? Mm-hmm. It's a, yeah, it's the one that you took. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Because they went to the donut shop to get donuts. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. And uh, you saw the name of the donut shop, right? 
No, he oh, did not. No. Okay, so here's a question for you. It looks like it's got like a little donut logo, uh-huh. the name of the shop, and then another little donut logo. But it looks like the donut logo kind of also side. just looks like a big O. So here's the question. <clears throat> is it is it Nuts Donuts or is it O Nuts Donuts O? <laughs> it's nuts to, there's definitely a Nuts Donuts in there. But the question is, do we count the donuts that's what the sign looks as like. O's? Question is, do we count the donuts oh. as O's? Is it O nuts donuts O? Or, <laughs> or nuts donuts? Either one, I'm happy with. Or what about donuts nuts donuts donuts? No. Oh, oh okay, you don- donut okay. nuts donuts donuts. Damn, There's so many possibilities. <laughs> what if it's what if it's O nuts donuts donut? O nuts donuts. Or donut nuts donuts O. <laughs> Donuts don't nut. I don't know. There's like a lot of what names. Are that, okay. What are that? Oh, nuts. Donuts. Donut? <laughs> Put a question mark at the end. It's <laughs> donut. Nuts. Donuts. Donut. <laughs> so the answer was it could be anything. It could. It's all of them. At the same time. You're, you're not letting us know. You're dodging the question. Got it. <clears throat> now I'm going to go with Donut, Nuts, Donuts, Donut. Okay. Um, let's go to the synopsis. She tells Yuri. Yuri cries in the bathroom, but she can tell it. her eyes are red, so it's hard on her. But they're like, no hard feelings. Like, of course you like him. Now we have this thing we can talk about where we both like him. Uh I always like that. It's like, yeah, we both like the same person. Great. Now we can talk about it. Oh yeah. my god. That guy's <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like when you're like, oh yeah, we're both Paul McCartney fans. Uh, and they're just like, oh my god, he's so necalicious, you know. <laughs> he's so, oh, so nexy. Oh. You seen the nape of that see here here's here's why I think Yuri's in fake love. She didn't even mention the nape of his neck. <laughs> Yeah. Yuri's just, just like a, he Yuri... was nice when he helped me cross the river. Yuri has a crush. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's like, oh, this boy is interesting and nice to me. So that's that's a good, but that's fine. You can start with that. That's fine. Well, she's really not even nice or he has done one nice thing for her throughout the entire show. Yeah. <laughs> but she's also not, she, she was not very happy with Kominato because he ate her um, cupcake when she didn't eat it because she was saving it for later. It's like, oh, if you're not going to eat this, I'll eat it. She's mad at Kominato because fuck that guy. When did that happen? That same was episode. in the first what? So, it, I guess same time. I think I, I think it happened the first meal they had at the yeah. retreat. The, oh the first yeah, night. You're right. Yeah, okay. That was Yuri. Yeah, Yuri was mad. Okay. Yeah. I thought you said Futaba. though. I might have. I, was, but I, meant I like dozed off for like a second though. It's late, listeners. We started this after midnight, after a long session of D&D. So, they do that. Um, Then, Futaba follows Ko to, like, a group of friends he has. Yes. Who seem to be, like, delinquents. Yeah, she follows him into the city. Smoking, drinking. Real Benazi types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please listen to Blank Check. They're way better than us. Um, yeah, and she's just... One of them is like hitting on her, and... I was just like, oh, all right, let's go. <laughs> you disgust me. And then he just leaves, but he doesn't go home. He just no. wanders around. She keeps following him. Yeah. And then they have a really hot scene where he's like, you need to be more careful around guys, and then, you know, acts like he's coming on to her. He's like, come on! She closed her eyes, just... Kiss her. <laughs> yeah, it's like he like pushes, like, does pushes that, her down. Like does the thing where like he holds her down and it's like whatever. Yeah. She's, he's like, see, see, it's, it's scary. Like, yeah, and she said she's just like, uh, my heart's not racing because it's scary. <laughs> she's like mad she didn't he didn't kiss her. Like, yeah. Damn it. I mean, it was probably also a little scary, but she's yeah. just like, okay, all right, mm-hmm. I'm accepting. Uh, next, please episode. put that neck on me. <laughs> <laughs> neck me baby <laughs> that's what <laughs> necking is about <laughs> oh that's a good one god damn it 
Anyways. It might just be a little loopy. And tight. <laughs> it's funny, though. Okay. That's terrible. She likes his neck. <laughs> Okay, Dylan. Oh, okay. I didn't think it was that funny. Oh, that was gonna kill me. Ooh, you gonna use that funny. one on your wife later? <laughs> <laughs> I just, might have to. Tomorrow we'll just go. Next week, <laughs> she doesn't listen to this, right? She gave up after the first one that you were on. No, because you... she's like, "Yeah, you don't ever talk about me in that, do you?" I'm like, "Yeah, every episode I'm on." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like you've got such a different perspective in life than us. Nothing bad. It's just more of like, yeah, he has a wife. Yeah, this was like, do you ever talk bad about me? I'm like, no. Listen to the damn podcast. <laughs> uh, anyways, Futaba wears makeup. Cause sees it and he's just like, like wipes it off her yeah. lips, which is kinda again kind of hot. Doesn't suit you, which is sort of a backhanded compliment. Or, or a backhanded insult. Kung where does that. He's like, it's sort of an insult, but sort of also kind of like a a, you don't need it. Yeah. Oh, he's nagging her all yeah. the goddamn time. That's not good. You shouldn't nag people. Yeah. Don't do it. Anyways, that happens. <laughs> what, how many times did you just say, anyway, that happens? <laughs> well, it's like... <laughs> moving right, on. Moving on. Putting that aside. Yeah. Uh, they figure out Ko like, has bad grades. So they all are like, all right, we're going to help him study. Yeah, they're like, "Hey, what are you doing?" He's like, "Sleeping." Okay. It's like, "All right, we'll be right over to study." And he's like, "Okay, huh? Okay." Wait, they're coming over. Is I don't have the door locked. I need to <laughs> lock the door before they get here. But they let themselves in. Uh, he falls asleep for a while. But if he wants the potato chips they bought, they have to study. Um, the after that one was successful, they're like, "Okay, we're gonna study in the library after school." And Ko's there for a little bit, and he's just like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And he takes well, his bag and leaves. Oh, well, yeah, but, like, before that, there's that thing where, like, him and Ko and... Oh, yeah, Futa Ko and... goes downstairs. No, Ko and Yuri go downstairs. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, Ko and Yuri, Yuri go downstairs. Yuri finds out first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yuri goes into some sort of room, and when they come back, they're just like, what happened? Some, yeah. And she's like, nothing. It's just delay. Nothing, nothing. happened. <laughs> Ko, what happened down there? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> It was like she's like that, that delay something definitely happened I need to know mm-hmm. they leave she goes back and is like I need what what happened he's like fine you know whatever mm-hmm. here's she went into this room and saw the my mom is dead mm-hmm. <laughs> and then she's like oh no and she started crying he's like I wasn't really like hiding it but like I knew you'd start crying if I and I didn't want to like Annoy myself with your yeah. tears. I don't want to be, you know, like a burden, like, boo-hoo me, I've, I've got a dead mom, you know, I don't want people to treat me differently, but I wasn't hiding it. Yeah, but they have, like, this moment where they're, like, hugging and then kind of get close to kissing, I think. Yeah. But then his brother comes over? Yeah. And also, Ko's like, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I wrote this down. I almost called dibs on the mom. But I felt it was in bad taste. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would have been in bad taste. Yeah, yeah. Now, now if it was a show where the dead could come back to life, which who knows, this might be taking place in the same universe as Sankaraya. Or High School of the Dead. Mm, yeah. Could be. <laughs> are there are there hot zombies in that? Or just in zombies? High School of the Dead? I mean, it's like, you know, zombie cheerleaders and stuff like that. Okay. Like, like I, I, know, I knew there's a bunch of fan just, service in that no, show. No, was just a ton of fan But service. I didn't know if that was with, like, the survivors or if the zombies were part of the fan service. Oh, no, the zombies are the majority of the fan service. Gotcha, gotcha. Gross. <laughs> um, Interesting. Horrible show. They, like, Would not watch it. Decayed? It's terrible. Are the zombies, like, decayed? I mean, yeah, some of them. And right? that's the it's fan just, service? Uh, it's... Uh, it's a horrible show. Don't watch it. You'll regret every second of no, it. I'm but... intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you don't watch it. You just sold me. <laughs> Anyways. Turn Putting that it. aside. Should you watch Boku no Pico? No. Yes. <laughs> uh, Still haven't watched it. Yeah. So I almost Good, called don't. <laughs> I almost called Dibs on the Mom, but I didn't. Uh, then we get the flashback. Flashback goes Mom's Sickness. I do, I do call dibs on the dad. And Ko's dad. I'm fairly sure I call dibs on him. Oh, okay. I don't think that dibs count. 
Zero high <laughs> we, we, yeah. We're, I don't know if you know this, Dylan, but we were holding back on dibs. For us to call dibs on a high schooler, it has to be like either a show we were really into when we were closer to that age and it was more acceptable for us to be into people that age or just like, of course I'm going to call dibs on Haruki. She's God. <laughs> She's my God. I pray to her every Sunday. <laughs> so I can just call dibs on all of the fucking cast because I watched this in high school so it's all like safe. I guess. I guess. Safe. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be a pretty monumental show for us to call dibs. Mm -hmm. And if this is a monumental show for you then sure, whatever. Take them. I don't oh, care. I mean, it's not monumental but I watched this while I was in high school, you know, so yeah. I can't be like, Well, like, there's a I've bunch, of shows, there's a bunch then, of shows I've yeah. watched in high school too but I'm also, also just like to be honest, not a lot of worthy dibs I don't think. Nobody on the show is really like, all right, she's great. Yeah. Well, I think part of the problem is our main girl is our protagonist. Yeah. So, like, protagonists are always a little bland. Um, yeah, and then they No, just... I guess not always, but, like, it's very much like, okay, this is... She's definitely not Sundere enough. Yeah. Uh, she's no Maki Sekurusu. Nobody's Maki Sekurusu. Well, I just Maki Se Kurusu is Maki Se I mean, Kurusu. like she's the main character. She, she gets is the no less death. Yeah, we we get her perspective, so we're more like walking in her shoes than anything else, which is hard to be. I don't know. It, it, it's just different. Mm -hmm. Um, and they just don't give enough to the other characters, really. Oh, she's yeah. Yuri's like whatever. Morale is like whatever. What are you doing? It's like I don't care. <laughs> um. Boys don't really strike me as like no. I gotta call dibs on that dude. Like we'll call dibs on dudes that are really good oh, yeah, sometimes. Um, but it's just like okay, this is. I don't know. Seeing that neck, I don't. Know. I was gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> Ko's older brother is kind of. I mean, he he's he's definitely dib worthy. He is. You seen that neck? Oh, neck for days. <laughs> that family's got necks. <laughs> You guys are going to be like, what? <laughs> you're going to be watching, you're, Dylan, you're going to be watching some show, some animal show with your kids and be like, that giraffe. has <laughs> got a nice <laughs> neck. Uh, you, you kids, i got to leave the room for a couple of seconds. Let me know when the giraffe's off screen. <laughs> you're watching a show oh. giraffe, like, dibs. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what does dibs mean, Dad? You're going to have that conversation with your almost two-year-old daughter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'll need the dipstitution in paper first. That way I can, you know. Yeah, we, we got a draft. Oh, we had a clause today. Uh, it was an accord. Yeah, an accord. Um, <laughs> this does not apply to anime. No, it doesn't. But if Ben calls dibs on... So typically, there's multiple people on screen, and you call dibs, and there's you know, you're calling dibs on, by default, for us. Calling dibs on a female. Mm -hmm. However, for Shabs, if the actor Tony Shaloub is on screen, the guy who plays Monk, that overrides the female. <laughs> so, like, we were, when we were watching A Life Less Ordinary, and he shows up, Ben calls dibs, and he's like, you know, I'm Tony Shaloub, obviously. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> this is you. I just assume <laughs> you want dibs on Monk. I get it. Damn, thinking back, he had a pretty nice neck in that movie, too. <laughs> Had like five o'clock shadow too, so was, yeah. Tony, the, the unkempt Tony Shalhoub, you don't see that in Monk. No, he he can work it. Oh, it's all about them necks. Yeah. The closest you get is sick Monk, and his dehumidifier and his humidifier in the same room, <laughs> giving yeah. you the constant humidity he wants. Yeah. So, uh, Joe's mom's sick. Stuff we have happens. flashbacks. Yeah. yeah. The brother feels guilty because he, he he just started out as a teacher. He lived far away. Uh -huh. He couldn't, like, take, we, like, a big leave. We said that, like, their parents divorced, right? Yeah. Yeah, at okay. some point. That's why he had a different name. We yeah. said that's why he had a different name. But, um, like, he's the, basically the only one who can take care of her. Because the doctor's like... Yeah, the doctor's like, maybe I should call your dad. It's like, why would you call his dad... They're divorced. They're not related anymore. I'm like, 
the brother is busy, so it's like he's the only one who can kind of take care of her now. It's yeah. A huge burden, and like you B, get the doctor is like, like I should talk to an adult and not a middle schooler. Yeah. But like also, why would you tell? You can tell the kid before you tell the ex husband. Like they're not. You don't know if they have a good relationship. I think they did still, mm-hmm. but you know it's like it's not. I just feel like they. They just wanted to talk to an adult, yeah. not a middle school or high school boy. So we just need to talk to an adult. Is there any adults we can talk to? Uh, putting that aside, moving on. Moving on. Um, Co at some point, Co goes and hangs out with those boys again, and Fukuba goes and finds him again, and then they have like a a big heart to heart. Um, Co basically learns like, okay, I was looking for permission to like start enjoying life again, sort of. You know, mm-hmm. like I've been, I've been dreading life. I've been thinking there's no use to this, but you know, now you've given me a reason to be be a little bit better mentally. He finally has a meal with his dad and his brother. Um, he, like, welcomes his dad home for the first time, and his dad is like, thank you. <laughs> you know. Uh, I like his dad. Even though we don't, and he's like, I'm going to keep mom's last name for a while. Like, that's fine. Yeah. Like, you don't have to change back. It doesn't change the fact that we're still family. Yeah. Um, he's like, I, I got to get dibs on that dad, I guess. I just feel like we should we should really move on to the manga at this point. Okay. Uh, we pretty much covered the show. Yeah. Um. So I want to say a few things before we get too far. I think my main gripe with the manga is that it's a lot of like them just like keep missing each other. So like um, we mentioned Crotch Boy is an actual character. Oh um, yeah, Crotch Boy. So like Which he's hot too because he's in a band. Zero's Pierce. Oh, he's in a band. What does he play? I think he plays guitar. Yeah, he's, play, he's a guitar player. Um, but he also sings, too. He's like a, the backup singer also. Or yeah, probably rhythm guitar backup singer. Yeah. Or maybe lead guitar lead guitar backup singer, maybe? No. Because typically, I th- I think typically lead one. singer is rhythm guitar. Because they, they can concentrate on... Because mm-hmm. I think split that the other... The other friends, the actual lead guitarist... The one that ended up dating Yuri, I think, is the lead guitarist. Yeah. Um, There's just, like, a bunch of, like, this is not the right time for Ko, and then when Ko's ready, this is not the right time for um, Futaba. At one point, Crotch Boy asks Futaba out, and they start dating for a while. Or it's sort of like a... It's sort of like they go on dates, but she hasn't really, like, confessed or anything like that. But Mm -hmm. um, he just, like, you don't have to give me an answer. I don't want this to end yet. Like, because she knows the, he knows the answer is going to be ultimately no, but he's hoping he can win her over before, um, before she says no to him. Um, I mean, she said yes to him. Well, she said yes to being his girlfriend, but I don't think she ever like, she never said, I like you or anything like that. Yeah. Um, but then I like, at that point, Ko's like, well, fuck, I was going to be ready. Um, Yuri asks Yuri asks Ko out well before Futaba has the courage to. She gets denied. She eventually gets over him. Um, which again is it, it was a crush. It wasn't mm-hmm. as strong, I think, as Futaba's feelings. But um, she does also date the one guy's friend eventually. Um, we mentioned in the manga morale like sneaks a kiss on Tanaka and he's like, you shouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to jail. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> um, the, which just remind now that reminds me, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about movies that aren't anime. We watched Train Spotting recently and in that, uh, Ewan McGregor's character is at a club, has a one, or has what he hopes is a one night stand with, or no, he thought it was true love at one point. Yeah, <laughs> but he just barely met her, uh, but has sex with this girl, and then he, she's like, "You can't sleep in the bed. You can sleep out in the hallway in the couch." And um, like when he wakes up the next morning, 
he's like eating breakfast with her parents and he's like so are you like her flatmates and like yeah i guess you could call us that and then she walks out in a high school uh, girl's uniform and he's like oh yeah we're uh he doesn't he doesn't say they had sex with her but he's like oh, i'm more of a friend of a friend before he realizes like oh she's 17 <laughs> <laughs> it was only 17 and then at one point um he's like what no this she's like am i gonna see you again he's like no you're a child she's like i will call the cops if you don't see me again. he's like all right i'll see you again <laughs> please don't have me arrested for rape <laughs> so going going back yeah does that get any go any farther than that in the manga no, but I I think there's again more of where we see like Tanaka like like implying things to Kominato. Okay. But um Kominato does like eventually win her over when okay. they start going out. Um so at no point does like Tanaka like reciprocate those yeah. feelings, I would say no. no. He's old, maybe a little bit too nice to her. Okay. Too friendly. But because yeah. I mean, he I mean, he does have those feelings. He just doesn't. I mean, he suppresses them. Yeah, he knows like this is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Like you're you're a nice girl, but I'm not gonna. You're a nice, attractive girl. I would be lying, but like I'm not gonna let her get further than that. Okay. You know? or maybe she gets older. Maybe things will be different. But okay. You know, it's. He's like, I'm not gonna do this. Nope. I'm gonna set boundaries. Um, cause Ko's brother isn't that much older. I think he's yeah, only yeah, like he's five years older or six years older or something. It's not a huge age gap. Yeah, but it's a very big age gap when when it's, you're their teacher. <laughs> like yeah, that's... it's like there's that as you get older, the age gap becomes less and less relevant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but at that age. At that formative age, six years can make a lot of difference. Yeah. Um, but, like, I don't feel like the same person I was six years ago. Well, yeah. I feel... I definitely feel different than I did when I was 22. So, um, and I look at 22-year-olds now and I'm like, children. I know you're technically adults, but you're all Children doesn't help that they were born after the year 2000 and it just throws me off right mm-hmm. gross disgusting that makes me feel old every time you're what two years younger than us 30. you're good 30 years you were born in 97 no. no never mind two years yeah two years. we were we were 94 yeah, which i know 96 we're also some i'm sure people out there are thinking those are children my mom called me her baby today but i was we had the sort of pseudo family gathering and uh my niece who's a baby was there and i don't know my my nephew victor said something about like only babies i'm like well i'm a baby i'm my i'm my mom's baby ask your grandma and then my mom was like, yeah, he's my baby. Because <laughs> I'm the youngest. I'll always be the baby. She's just like, I, I told him that. <laughs> ben, quit writing donuts. Yeah. Donut nuts. Donut nuts. Donut. Donut. <laughs> God damn it. You didn't even recognize, you didn't see a sign that said nuts, donuts, and thought, that's funny. Because <laughs> Ben didn't see the O's, I don't think, until I pointed it out. Yeah. Because they do just look like donuts, but. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of like, oh, there's a girl that shows up from the middle school, Coe's middle school that he transferred to, whose mom also died recently and is going through a lot of this stuff. And she's got a thing for Co, And he's just like, I can't, like, I don't want to, like, abandon her at this time. Um, so, like, that, like, sours, like, that keeps Futaba from asking her out because <laughs> Co's spending a lot of time with her. But eventually they get it all figured out and then coach third year of high school they're like is co um somebody she asked like a teacher or something if if ko mabuchi is on the class roster and they're like nope and like oh no did he move away after we 
decided to go out, and it's like, nope, he changed his name back to Ko Tanaka. That's why he wasn't on the roster. Oh. So, like, he... Last year of high school, he changes it back. But, yeah, because, like, okay. at first, she had a dream, like, the night before this, that he had disappeared again. She had, like, a flashback to the um, clock tower. Yeah, the And then she goes to school the next through. day, and he's not on the class list. Then he walks in the class, and I'm like, what are you freaking out about? <laughs> right here. Um... I mean, is there anything else we want to add about the manga here? We kind of went through it pretty quick, but... How does it end? They're together. Yeah, okay. they're, it just ends you never actually together. said that, so... Yeah, they, they the, work it the out. The final scene is them standing together at the the little shrine place okay. holding hands. Yeah, they, they, they finally... Because there's, like, another time where they try to go to the fireworks, but he's, like, he can't make it, I think. Yeah, he couldn't get off work or something Oh, like yeah, he... He got to, um... Got hit by a car. Yeah, that's right. He was in the hospital. He got truck cooned? Yeah, he got yeah. truck cooned. He was like... He was at work. They asked him if he could work a little bit of overtime. He's like, I got plans, but... The like, well, it'll only be like half an hour. And so he's like, okay. And then he's like, he gets off work in time. He's got to, like, probably rush to do it. But then he gets hit by a car and he gets a call. It's like, yeah, um... Couldn't make it. Was it, was it Tanaka that calls her? Or does yeah. he call her? He's like, Co he's not going to be there. <laughs> he's in the hospital. And she's like, okay, I can't get mad at you for that. She like, freaks the F out, goes to the hospital. Yeah, he doesn't answer his he's phone. He's dying. Okay. Yeah. She walks in the room, he's like, no, I'm no. fine. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, yeah, can I get some it? scratches? And then brother walks in as they're trying to get hot and frisky in a hospital bed. Nice. Um. There was a lot of necks in that room. <laughs> okay. Um, we got some. We got some more questions for Dylan. Do you want to ask your second? Or do we? We should probably ask uh, the questions relevant to the show first, okay. and then you can ask your second question. Um, which is really only one more question relevant for the show. There are times. Can Co like read her mind? Because there are times when she's just like. Ah, I wish Ko would say something about this. And then he turns around and says something about it. Can he just, like, read her mind sometimes? I think she's just an open book. Yeah. Like, she wears her emotion and Ko's like, man, you're stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, all right, fine. There's one scene in particular I wrote that down where it's just like, it's like he was, like, walking out of the room and, like... It was, like, the makeup thing or something, wasn't it? Yeah, or maybe. It's just like, he didn't notice about the makeup. He didn't say anything about and it. And he just turns around. And he just turns around and says, does it suit you? And it's like, did he like know she was thinking that? You weren't looking at her. You turned away. <laughs> like sometimes I think he could just read her mind. But I think that's also just sort of shoujo writing yeah. Yeah. sometimes. That's just like, a, oh, he didn't forget. Now he's going to say something, but it's going to go against your expectations. Or, or it's going to make you fall in love even more because it's so really. sweet. So read your mind, yay or nay? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, you went from just more from good at picking up social cues or like body language. It's like yeah. she wants me to say something. Okay, Ben, do you want to ask your next question? Sure. Is the Scooby Doo anime real? I found a Scooby Doo wiki article about a Scooby Doo anime, but when I Google the name of that, all I get is. It's like Scooby Doo the New Mysteries or something like that. But there is, and like I read a, a quick plot synopsis, and it's like the gang breaks up, Shaggy, Scooby, and Scrappy move to Japan and team up with these some Japanese teenagers. And I'm like, this doesn't seem real, but it says there's like four seasons of it, and it's been going on since 2016. But yeah. I can't find anything but two like fan made wiki articles about it's it. It's not like a manga or something, is it? Like the. That's definitely gotta be real. I don't know. If it's on the internet, it's real. Gotcha. The internet so, never lies. I need you to find the first episode for me and send it my way. Um, I'm just thinking, there should be a Scooby Doo anime. <laughs> yeah, so now I, I. I was not paying attention to like the second half episode because I was trying to figure out about the goddamn <laughs> Scooby Doo anime, if it was real or not. I couldn't find any pictures from it. It's just. It just came up with the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries, which is, uh, like, 
or the new Scooby Doo show or something like that, which is from the seventies mm-hmm. or eighties. Um, I've got more questions. Uh, have you seen the show Lovely Complex? I think so. Girl is tall, boy is short, and plays basketball. I'm in. This sounds really familiar. Sounds like a dream. Almost. Yeah, I think you'd like it. It's like that a twenty sixer. That or I've read a manga about it, maybe. I don't know. They, they, just, they just slam together in my head. I'm like, I know, I know, I've seen something like this. Was it a show? That, that's Was a it show? A... Yeah, lovely, lovely complex. Interesting. She's tall. He's short, and he plays basketball. Oh, yeah, and she doesn't. I don't think she does. No, I don't okay. know what she does for fun. Um, Being tall, that's what. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, my last question for you. You want to go camping sometime? <laughs> I know I asked this during yeah. D&D, but I had written it down as a question here first. Do you want to go camping sometime? Yeah. All right. All right. Not out all night because I don't like sleeping in tents. I don't like being outside in general. Mm, but... Sleep in my parents' camper. I mean, that would work. We're just, we would just go to my parents' um, property out, out in the country. Um, you can you can sleep on one of the beds in the camper. I'll sleep in a tent because yeah, I've, you, I've you can this. camper and I can camp. <laughs> camper, I hardly really know her. Yep, I read that. Right. Okay, uh, I I figured you would. We never gave our rankings. Oh yeah, uh, I'll give this. Sorry, Dylan, I'm only giving it a six out of ten. I'll say the show. I'd only give it a six. I give I'd give the manga maybe a six and a half. The manga, I'd probably give an eight. Okay, it's fun, but again, it was just a lot of like them. They just kept missing. It's just like a little frustrating. It's like, come on, just like have emotions at the same time or be this honest with yourself at the same like, time. This thing could be like half Actually, short like, if they would just me, like the, let them do it. Or yeah, yeah. For me, the manga it just it hits all the spots a rom com needs to hit, and it does it in a short times spam i mean it's i think yeah, it's, it's not only... very comedic per se we keep saying rom-com but it's more just straight up romance yeah but like i'm sure there's some comedic moments but it's like it's more do a lot of like, like, animation things in it in the show i think makes it yeah, there, there are quite a few comedy aspects in yeah. the i would definitely call it a rom-com yeah i'm just i, I would but... lean more rom drum romantic drama rom drum um 2022 but, yeah. but like the the comedy that's in there is just like, yeah, you're. Well, we call that one character Crotch Boy because his one characteristic in the show is that we don't touch his dick. Yeah, they like he knocked in. She knocked into him in the uh, library. They both fell down, and then her hand was on his dick. It's like, oh yes, Crotch Boy. Um, that's all we saw of him, except he might have been in the background in yeah. another shot that I saw. Um, I think also the girl from Coe's Middle School was in the background in a flashback at one point, but I didn't, like, it was so quick, and mm-hmm. there was no way, like, she doesn't show up in the foreground at all, so I couldn't, like, for sure double-check that. But it's just like, okay. Now, at some point, a drama just gets a little melodramatic for me, and I'm like, ah, I, whatever, just yeah. get on with it. Yeah, but for me, the I mean, it's a romance that hits like all the boxes, and it does it in a, you know, it's not a long manga. It's forty some chapters. I mean, you can yeah. binge it I mean, in a day if you really wanted to. It really wouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, I don't know how long it took me to read it. I don't think it. I don't think I did it in one day. I think I spread it out over a week. Yeah, like I know when I first started reading manga, you know, I didn't sleep when I was in high school. I averaged maybe two, three hours of sleep a night at high school. And I spent most of my time either reading manga, or watching anime, or playing video games until I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. Yeah, that's not how we say it. Two a.m., <laughs> <It laughs> which is, is officially which is when I would typically go to bed in college. Yeah. <laughs> you know, see, so high school I just slept during school. I didn't sleep at night, so nice. Yep. The American education system. You still graduated exactly. <laughs> it's how good they are at teaching. Not how lax they are at grading. No, it's how good I am at just not having to do anything and having people like Pants and my wife who just did all my homework for me. Pants didn't do your homework. Well, he didn't it. do it per se. I had to. He, do he might it. have told you the. He answer. just told me all the answers. <laughs> he might have been like, "Yeah, this is what I got in the homework," but. <laughs> uh, 
to where I didn't have to do anything. Yeah, I'd hate to be in a group project with you. <laughs> but I guess our D&D campaign is sort of a group project. <laughs> I have a lot of fun in our D&D campaign, I think. <laughs> yeah, your, your interaction with my character is some of my funnest stuff. <laughs> Which is just sad that my character is now going to be sidelined because I'm also the DM and we have enough players now. I don't need to also be... I was originally just the fourth player because we didn't want to have a three-person party. But uh, we, we got we got five players now. I can I can go to the sideline. I you didn't want to do all aboard, did you? Nah, not really. No. Nah. Whatever. There's, there's no like... I guess I guess there are ships, but... One ship you don't want, and the other ones. Yeah, aren't, it's like a, like emergency, emergency, not emergency water landing. Um, uh, ships going down. Abandon all. Abandon. Uh, abandon ship. Abandon uh, ship. Abandon ship. Morale <laughs> and uh, Tanaka. Abandon no, ship. No best ship is uh, Cohen's brother. So much neck. <laughs> all the neck. <laughs> There is a there that, there, that there is that called, oops all necks <laughs> oops all napes all, uh, all hands on neck <laughs> <laughs> okay uh yeah whatever Futaba and Co. that's that's my ship yeah. there you go yep that's the only ship it's like what is she Kominato and Morale Kominato's although I really did like Yuri and her boyfriend together too well, he's maybe. not in the show though we're talking show now oh okay yeah no they're not in the I show. barely remember her boyfriend I'm like when you mention I'm like oh yeah she does do that like I was struggling to remember the thing I'm like I need to I was trying to think like what happens after this show I was trying to think that last night when we we watched eight episodes all in a row um <sighs> But uh, that's that's uh, what, what was the name of the ship? Blue oh. Spring Ride. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's late. That's Blue Spring Ride. Um, don't watch it if you like romance. Uh, it's one of Dylan's favorite mangas, so go read it. I guess I probably say I have more fun reading than watching. But also, like, I started watching it like pretty shortly after reading the manga, so it's just sort of like. Yeah, okay, let's get through this sort of thing for the first four episodes. The last eight episodes is a little bit easier to get through because I didn't remember what happened. I mean, well. just to be uh, to be fair for it, I mean, it's it's a manga and show to where you can read the manga and watch a show and not be entirely disappointed. It stays pretty true to the manga. But but they didn't get they the didn't continue two other it to, yeah, they, to to finish it. So yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I think, unless there's other things we need to talk about, we can go ahead and, and start um, plugging stuff here. Mm -hmm. So you can follow us on Twitter at anime underscore territory. Um, that's the best place to get a hold of us if you tweet at us. I'm not saying I check it every day, but I check it more often than I check YouTube comments, which are on YouTube as anime territory. There's a couple of anime territories, I think. So we're the ones with the cityscape. Mm -hmm. um, the, you can find us anywhere podcasts are at. Um, we're hosted on Anchor, so we, which Anchor is like basically a Spotify company. But we're also on Google Podcasts and Apple Podcasts and a few other big ones. Um, you can follow us on Twitch at um, twitch.tv slash Demented Goku. I will be starting up Gloomhaven soon with my friend Matt again, but uh, I will remind you that he is in medical school and has been very busy. <laughs> uh, but. He, he said we'd make time at some point. So we've been streaming that. Ben and I will sometimes open up uh, Magic Cards or Digimon Cards. or She might do at some point. We yeah. need to do Final Fantasy X on your stream. Too. Yeah, come over anytime. <laughs> anytime you can get away from your wife and three children. So never, because you should be spending time with your wife and three children. More than you should be playing Final Fantasy X for the 15th time in your life. I definitely have more hours in Final Fantasy X than I do with my family. Let's get that straight. As well, a total, well, to be, well, to be fair, Final Fantasy X has been in your life longer than your family. True. <laughs> I mean, I had on one save file 11,000 hours in that game. God, one so, save file. Christ. I had like over 500 hours in Dragon Quest VIII, but I'd leave that bitch on over the summer. <laughs> I I guarantee you I have over 30,000 hours What do you total. do after a while? 
There's so much. It's endless. I've also 100% completed that game four different times on four different consoles. So <laughs> I've been. I might move this to streaming at some point, but we really we have the PS4 hooked up to the TV for watching Crunchyroll and stuff. But I've been playing a lot of Horizon Zero Dawn recently. I started that up. Oh, so. never played it. I heard it was good though. Yeah, it is good. It, it it was pretty like quick for me to pick up the controls. That's the big thing with me learning a new game. Like I tried playing The Witcher Three, and it's just like there's so much stuff like keep in mind because like i gotta use a different sword when i'm fighting monsters versus people and or versus ghosts or something and i've got all these like spells that i can use right away and you know these other like combat things and i'm trying to also listen to a podcast at the same time and there's a lot of story happening whereas horizon zero dawn's got quite a bit of story but it's just like i got a spear I got a bow, not too hard. I can get different types of bows. I got one more type of weapon where I can set traps. It's just like, I don't know. It, it was better at introducing me to all those things. So, and there's a lot more like, it's pretty open world. So when a story thing comes, I can pause whatever podcast I'm listening to, but I can also like, just like, oh, I'll just go hunt some machines and boars and, you know, explore this area here. And then, um, you know, I can do that for like half an hour. I yeah, I've, I've, cause I've played a lot of monster hunter. So like, oh, I'm used to those type of games. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll stream it, but the problem with streaming it is I, uh, like to listen to things and I don't want to get copyright people mad at me because I'm like, you know, and I don't want to not have, I'd have to wear like two sets of headsets if it's not going to play on the stream because I'm like, well, I'm, I got one headset that is the game audio <laughs> yeah. and another headset that's the podcast audio so that I'm not... So that's what you just have your phone for. Just like wireless earbuds or something inside of your headset. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't have wireless earbuds. I don't want those. I don't, I don't like earbuds. Oh, that's fair. Um, I, I, mean, I, I wear earbuds eight hours a day every day, so... Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> uh... I have a headset that I wear eight hours a day every day for work, but that's still like over the, that's on, on the ear, yeah. not around the ear, but on the ear. So I need at least on the ear. I can't go in the ear. I mean, I can, I did it for several years. It's just, it's uncomfortable and it gets gross. You just wax build up on that crap. True. Or you lend it out to somebody and they give it back to you and it's like, do you never clean your goddamn ears? I clean my True, we are rambling, and it is past yeah, you know, two in the morning. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> two o'clock in the morning, come on. You're now leaving the anime territory. Goodbye. See you later. Nexit.